again uh thank you for listening so well and thank you for uh, thank you to joe for explaining the story so well telling us all about john the baptist and that amazing message he had of repentance of turning away from sin and turning to god and how um he baptized jesus and, and the wonderful thing that happened whenever jesus was baptized uh, and from this story we learn that we all sin that's that's why jesus came to show us what god was like and to rescue us from our sin uh, but Jesus never sinned. He is the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. That's what John said whenever he saw Jesus coming to be baptised. Behold, the Lamb of God who has come to take away the sin of the world. Jesus' baptism was a sign that the rescue mission had begun. That Jesus had come to take away the sin of the world. That God had arrived and the great rescue had begun. And so the Bible tells us that, that God never leaves his people. God sent Jesus to come and to heal and to rescue his people, to show his people who he, what he's like and how much he loves us. So God never leaves his people, instead he comes close to us, to love us and to help us. So even whenever God seems far away at the moment and all that's happening, he is always with his people. And he calls us to remember that to, and to be his people and to live for him. And the message of John was that, that God had sent Jesus to be a saviour. And we haven't yet mentioned our memory verse for this term. And right now I want that to, to let you know what it is. In the coming weeks we'll, we'll try and work through it and, and, and learn it. But just for now, I want you to know that it's in First John, which is another book of the Bible with John in it. But this is First John chapter 4, verse 14. And it says this. And we have seen and testify that the Father has sent his Son to be the saviour of the world. And what that verse means is that uh, as, as the message of Jesus went out to the world, more and more people heard about it and they believed the message 
that Jesus was sent to rescue the world. Jesus was the saviour of the world. He was without sin and he paid the penalty for our sin so that we could be God's people. So let's remember that this, the memory verse we have seen and testify that the Father has sent the Son to be the saviour of the world. That's our, our great hope uh, and the great message that all we here who are believers have that Jesus is our rescuer, our saviour, come to rescue us from, from sin and to take us to be with him someday. And I hope that you will make that your message that I, and something that's very dear to you, um, especially as we look at the wonderful life of Jesus, all he said and did, and ultimately what he did for us at the cross. But that's for the weeks to come. We've enough to, to learn um, and to, to think about after what Joe has shared with us. And remember, uh, the email address is here. Send in your pictures of John the Baptist to the email address in the coming days. We'd love you to do that as soon as possible. Let us know what you think um, John the Baptist looked like. And the, the best pictures will win a prize for our competition. But until then, and until we meet next week, uh, I just want to share, uh, pray with you uh, and then uh, hopefully you can go and do your worksheets and do your pictures and, and enjoy the rest of your evening. OK, so, so let's pray together. Father God, we do again thank you for this time to gather again as your people uh, at Lighthouse. We thank you, Father, for the opportunity to share the stories all about Jesus how you showed us what you're like and how much you loved us by sending Jesus, the Lamb of God, the spotless, sinless one who was sent to rescue us by dying on a cross. Thank you for Jesus and thank you for all that he said and did while he was on earth. And thank you that now he's in heaven and he's, he prays for us and he loves us. And, he, and Father, we thank you for how much we're loved because of what Jesus has done for us. Father, we pray that you would continue to protect us and keep us and bless us in the days to come. Help us to live for you and to remember how much you love us. So now, Father, please part us with your blessing. In Jesus' name. Amen. Okay, folks, thank you so much for listening so well, and we'll speak to you very soon. Take care. God bless.